Hi beautiful Gemini's, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing awesome Gemini. Thank you so much for your generosity, for being part of this community. Thank you so much. And guys know I prayed for you guys again for your protection, for your safety or security. I also pray for your family and I don't know why I'm saying that. Gemini. Birthing sacred assignments. Destiny. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. The Lapis Lazuli Star, Starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. You have um, blues and purples and pinks in your aura here. Aquamarine expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. The Huntress, the Pilates light, my quest to be wild and free. Rebirth. from the darkness into the light. Companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. Love. Confidence. Love. Twice. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation only love itself tears are what happen when the ice melts the heart knowing your worth you've been worthy all along to love all along without any need to improve in fact your love itself gemini invite help invite the divine to pursue you seriously just say i'm finally ready god pursue me because there's no greater love than love itself and you are love itself But intention without surrender can lead to a path to delusion. Have you been telling yourself you're not worthy enough, Gemini? Has someone told you or made you feel like you were not worthy enough? Because in fact, you are love itself. <laughs> so it is a delusion. You've got to believe in you. You've got to know your value, know your worth. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Gemini. Gemini. Someone just can't let you go. They're saying you don't know the real me. Hurting you hurt me more. You're the only person that makes me feel alive. But I cannot give you what you need. In the silence, I still love you. I feel lost in life. This could have been you, Gemini. You could have been feeling lost. A codependent situation. So someone's in a codependent situation. But they see you in everyone. A 
I know this is true love because nothing compares to you. I want to tell you the truth, but I know that I am damaged. I don't want to lose you, but I feel guilty. I was worried about what other people might think, and my biggest regret is letting you go. I am finally facing the karma of my actions. Someone doesn't understand what you see in them. Gemini. Gemini. That's like the truth. I want to tell you the truth. They could be dealing with a holy child. They could be dealing with a star seed. They could be dealing with a earth angel. This is confidence. Somebody who's very confident. This person hurt you but they hurt themselves more their biggest regret was letting you go they're saying you don't know the real me they love you but they're damaged and they feel guilty for manipulating you. So you're not chasing this person their biggest regret was letting you go. So you could have had, this is like a delusion. This is like, it says intention without surrender can be a path to delusion. So there was no point of you saying anything, Gemini. There was no point of you saying anything. Because you may have just gotten angry with them. Like, there was no point to this person saying anything. Because they would have had to back it up with intention. Your love itself. You were worthy all along. So there is a high value energy here. Someone of high integrity, high value, confident, balanced, loving, genuine, dedicated. They held back. I think that it could have been to do with distance. They were worried what other people would say. So maybe this person has trust issues or they're in a codependent situation right now. Hmm. 
They're saying it was a mistake. They should have come toward you and told you how they felt. It's this person's past. In their silence, they still have fond memories of you. Memories of love. They're scared. spy on you and the biggest mistake was letting you go they could be obsessed with you or they have a sex obsession I don't know they're in a codependent situation right now and they're saying I am sorry They know who you are. But they abandon the connection. It's just like they abandon it. Fearing they can't offer you what you deserve. So if you are feeling unworthy it's them who feel unworthy, insecure. Could have like pushed you away, you know, caring more what other people were thinking, what other people would think. They're being controlled, like people around them are controlling them. And they have a fear of like people not liking them or people not. It's selfish. But nothing compares to you. like I think they oh my god this person in a weird sense Gemini could have envied you because you're a take charge type of person like you're stronger than they are Gemini they're weak and they worried more about what other people thought Hmm. They're just stuck. Delusion. 
so like intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. So they may have talked the talk, but didn't walk the walk. They don't know what you see in them. It's like not enough to have good intentions. It's not enough to like... I I intentions are not enough. They have to walk the walk. They've got to give up. these delusions they got to give up these notions these ideas these opinions of what other people think they've got to be able to stand up and fight for what they believe in and what they want and they can talk and talk and talk and talk but talk without action equals nothing They could have all, you know, the roads to heaven were paved with good, the roads to hell were paved with good intentions. But you have to back up what you say. You have to mean what you say. They're acting wish-washy here, Gemini. They are. That's when actions sometimes speak louder than words. I mean, they may have said all the right things. They may have, you know, promised all the right things. But what are they doing to back it up? They're finally facing their karma for their actions. And they do feel guilty. Spirit, can you tell me if they are facing karma? What is this karma that they're facing? What's the karma that they're facing? Well, they fell for an illusion, a delusion. What's this karma that they're facing? What is the karma that this person's facing see they took action there so they was doing the opposite of what they said they was going to do this could be spreading gossip Well, repeating cycles. Codependency. So they searched out a codependent relationship. It's like it could be to do with having to pay. Like they're paying their 
their karma here. Hmm. Oh, the heavily burdened. So it's almost like This person acted like they didn't care, but truthfully, they're heavily burdened here. Um, they could be drinking excessively. They feel guilty. What they did to you. The damage they caused. When all you were trying to do was help this person to heal. They feel foolish because they went to a, a delusion. They were deluding themselves. Something was a delusion. They could have chosen to marry somebody for money or but they're unbalanced you know what I mean they have nightmares they're having nightmares about what they doing you dirty Gemini They could have made a decision based upon financial uh, stability or it could be financial pressure that they're under. They could have gotten into a commitment, a codependent commitment with someone else where they're unhappy. They're facing their karma, and it could be by me, yeah, experiencing towers. Could be something legal. And they were deluding themselves. saying openly that they're damaged. And they know they're going to have to really fight for this connection and they're they're thinking they should have given you up so you could be happy. Hurting you has hurt them more. So this person has made a lot of mistakes. They have. And I think they made a mistake prior to even knowing you, Gemini. I do. They keep repeating 
painful cycles. Which is pretty standard for, you know, we all do until we learn, you know, so gotta let them learn. And that is, you know, a surrender. Sometimes we have to surrender those we love, not because we wish them ill will, but because we know they need to grow. That's the old saying, you know, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was. Love is also letting people go when you know that they need to grow and learn. It's probably the biggest form of love you could ever give somebody. As weird as that sounds like recognizing for the higher good well I could be selfish here and I could hold on to this person but I love them enough to let them go Wouldn't it be weird? Something's coming to my mind. I remember watching a movie, oh my God, at least 30 years ago. It was about this young couple and they were very, very poor. They had nothing. And I think that the, the boyfriend in the movie, I don't even know the name of the actors. I'm terrible at actors' names anyway had a guitar and that was the only valuable thing he owned to his name and I forget what she possessed the feminine in the movie something that was really special like um, some necklace that was valuable to her family and it was weird that they didn't know what to do they were going to set each other free so that the other person could be happy. So she sold her jewelry. He sold his guitar <laughs> and left the money. She left the money for him. And he, without knowing, left the money for her and uh, took off with a note. I want you to be happy. That's something. Because each other did not want to take each other down. They loved each other enough to let each other go. They did reconnect. But it was a true testimony about that is unconditional love. I would rather go without so you could have and your chance to be happy. And I think that the that's unreal. Something like that is going on. And if you are meant to be together, you will be. Take care.